Honda's latest spell in Formula 1 will come to an end in 2021 after the Japanese manufacturer made a shock announcement on Friday that will have wide-reaching ramifications. Not only does it put F1 back down to three power unit manufacturers, Ferrari, Renault and Mercedes, a level it has not been at since the start of the V6 hybrid power unit era in 2014, but it also leaves Red Bull facing serious questions about its next move. When Red Bull signed the Concord Agreement in mid-August, committing to F1 until 2025, it would surely have been aware of Honda's considerations. Honda initially informed Red Bull that it was considering exiting F1 in August, but no decision was taken until the end of September, resulting in a very short lead time before today's announcement. Team principal Christian Horner said in the wake of the announcement that Red Bull remains committed to the sport in the long term and said they will now take time to further evaluate and find the most competitive power unit for 2022 and beyond. Well, they are seriously short on options. Mercedes will already be supplying three customer teams on top of its works outfit in 2021, while Ferrari has its route set up with Alfa Romeo and Haas. The only manufacturer without any wider outstanding commitments from next year, ironically, is Red Bull's former bedmate, Renault. Renault is only set to supply its in-house team from 2021 when it will be rebranded as Alpine, but as previously said, it would be open to working with partners down the line. However, Cyril Abitbal made clear that it would need to be a partnership that offered real value to Renault. Renault F1 boss Abitbal previously said that Red Bull missed a trick with its approach to engine partners in the past, but when asked directly about the possibility of rekindling a partnership with Red Bull, Abitbal was quick to dismiss the suggestion, saying, We've been there with Red Bull, it didn't work. But the nature of the sporting regulations means that, in an extreme case, Renault may have no say in the matter whatsoever. Stemming from Red Bull's own frustrations with Renault back in 2016 and its search for a power unit supplier, the rules were tweaked to ensure that no team can be left without an engine partner. Are you ready for some regulatory jargon? The sporting regulations state that the FIA has the power to compel a manufacturer to give supply to a team upon request. Appendix 9 of the sporting regulations covering power unit supply from 2021 to 2025 reads, the FIA will first allocate the power unit supply between the power unit manufacturers that are supplying the fewest number of teams, provided that the teams without a supply agreement shall be allocated to the power unit manufacturer that supplies the lowest number of teams. In short, because Renault only supplies one team, itself, it would have to give Red Bull engines from 2022 should Red Bull request it. Red Bull has until the 1st of August 2021 to put in this request to the FIA for a power unit supply. Based on the current engine agreements, it would be Renault who are obliged to meet that. To activate such an option would very much be a last resort for Red Bull, and it's something the team is not understood to be thinking about right now. The team will be eager to explore all avenues, undoubtedly including conversations with Mercedes and Ferrari too, before settling on final decision. Barring the arrival of a new power unit supplier, which at this point in time is highly unlikely to happen, Red Bull will lose its current de facto work status that it has enjoyed with Honda since they joined forces in 2019. The absolute support offered to Red Bull by Honda was something it revelled in and has led to some impressive on-track success. Max Verstappen scored three race wins through 2019 and has been the only driver to get close to the Mercedes pair through 2020, taking a hard-fought win at the 70th anniversary Grand Prix. Honda also took a shock victory with Red Bull's sister team, Alfa Tauri, at the Italian Grand Prix with Pierre Gasly. With the exception of some occasional frustrated gripes, the performance of the Honda power unit has never regularly been a point of contention for Red Bull, as it was with Renault in the past. But now, Red Bull is back to square one. Honda stressed in its announcement the decision was not made as a result of its F1 performance, but instead due to a shift in company focus towards carbon neutrality, something it hopes to achieve by 2050. It will still introduce an all-new, upgraded power unit for the 2021 season, underlining its commitment to Red Bull and Alpha Tauri to the very end. Beyond that, the picture is unclear for Red Bull. What is clear, however, is that it will no longer be a priority for its engine supplier, something it was keen to get in order to fight the works Mercedes and Ferrari operations for race wins and titles. It will go back, at best, to partner status, and we saw with Renault just how difficult it could be to make that a success. There is also the wider question of what this means for Max Verstappen's long-term future, Red Bull's once-in-a-generation talent that it hoped to turn into the youngest ever world champion. Now 23, Verstappen is set to miss out on that target, limited by the capabilities of the team's car once again this year, rather than his own performances that have stood him out as one of the best in the field. 
Red Bull will need to work hard to outline its future vision for the team beyond 2021 without Honda and make clear to Verstappen that it remains his best bet of becoming world champion. There will be a recalibration of how Red Bull functions moving forward ahead of the budget cap introduction next year and the new regulations to follow in 2022. They offer a good breakpoint for Red Bull to try and topple Mercedes and get on top of these new regulations. However, having to find a new power unit supplier for these new rules is a headache that it could really have done without. Regardless of its next step, this is a huge setback for Red Bull. The partnership with Honda seemed like a perfect fit, but it just came to fruition too late to have built into a serious threat to Mercedes.